that I train out of the Revolution and Revolution Gym in Chilliwack. You need to be able to stand and strike. You need to be able to wrestle. And I think probably one of the most important though is to work, look at um, getting knowledgeable in your ground game in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because a lot of the fights end up on the ground. So you gotta, you gotta know your ground work. Otherwise, you're in trouble. <laughs> With the Revolution Fight Team, so that would be guys such as Viviano Fernandez, who's the dream featherweight champ of the world right now. Uh, we got Cajun Johnson, who's one of the top 10 ranked uh, Canadian lightweights in the world. Uh, Colin Danes, who's an Olympic wrestler. Uh, he's also fighting on uh, John McCarthy's card coming up, so whoever wins that gets a strike force contract. Thiago Goncalves, he's a black belt with uh, Antonio Agüera, trains with Anderson Silva and all of them. Kelly Landy Jones, one of the first original shoot box members. So it's a pretty much all-star cast that I got tossed right here. What would you say one of the greatest things you've learned about yourself now that you've been training with such top athletes? Uh, how much... Uh, how much everything in life has to do with your mental, like basically in your mind, you control okay. everything. And uh, like, you know, right now I'm sitting in my hotel room, that's why I came outside and grabbed some air, because right now I'm just playing everything mentally in my head, talking to myself, getting myself strong right now. It's, the fight's never really external, it's usually internal inside of you of what's going on, and if you can control yourself, how you're controlling your emotions around this time, you usually win the fight. Everything is important, but mentally you gotta be there at all times. And that's the strongest thing, and that's where even the most skilled fighters can fall apart if they're not mentally there. Me, I have a marketing degree at SFU. I was uh, came up here to uh, just study with uh, scholarships. I was never into fighting. I was always the kid in the background. But what, how I think MMA influenced positively is how you find that self-confidence in yourself, how you can be an inspiring role model to others. Uh, what I've done is basically uh, I'm just trying to let them know that the underdog can become strong mentally also and achieve anything possible basically okay Definitely on a monday to saturday basis i try to train four hours minimum uh my trainers don't like me training more than five to six hours a day so uh, we'll start off in the morning with conditioning conditioning gets everything from tire flips rope climbs uh, like every day is different you gotta remember for mma fighters we're not looking for a look we're not bodybuilders mm -hmm. we're basically performance machines and that's what we have to perform at. So we'll be doing interval training, pushing hummers, sledgehammer drills, all that stuff. Now in the afternoon, you'll train one or two disciplines, maybe just one some days, maybe two. It'll be jiu-jitsu, wrestling, Muay Thai, uh, wrestling, and then you'll have sparring every two days. So Tuesday, Thursday, and then our next sparring day is Saturday. So that's pretty intense. And you gotta, a lot of people think that the training just goes on in the gym. You gotta remember once you leave the gym, you don't just leave it. You gotta go home and get the right nutrition inside you, the right mineral, uh, right vitamins, right Rest. protein, right everything. So at constant times you are training. It's just that the fight training is about four hours a day or four to five hours a day, but 24 hours a day you're thinking about the sport. 24 hours a day you're training. So mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's life, right? It's a lifestyle. So Definitely. it's not a hobby. Definitely. <laughs> Probably spinning back kick into his gut, to a Superman punch. Expect it. <laughs> sure, my name's Bill Fraser. I was a late replacement I found out um, about fight about a week ago. Oh wow, okay, so what did you do in that week time to make sure you mentally super prepared? Yoga. Oh, yoga, good, okay. Lots of stretching, awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've been training for about eight years. Okay. I guess for five, six months. Which gym? Uh, I've been training with Ben Lee Silva. How's that been going? It's sure. amazing. Yeah? Painful sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Um, no, no, I mean, a good trainer is, is the best thing. Uh, going with a solid good. Uh, a solid coach, a solid gym that, that offers everything um, and it has experience. You know, all these people that you know don't have never either been in a fight or haven't had any any kind of experience in actual MMA or, or anything like that is they're kinda of, you know flying off the, the coattails of MMA. Uh, and so getting guys with actual you know ring experience and, and um, that know a little bit of everything is great. Uh, 